When working on cloth sims, a lot of people think the issue is their settings, but maybe it's your topology. All these cloth sims have the same exact setting. The only difference is how many faces they have. And I think this is where a lot of people start to fall away is because they think that they have to have super high poly objects. And when they do that, it begins slowing down their computer. So let me show you a trick if you're on a lower end computer. So here in this example, I have a very low poly plane, just nine faces there. And obviously this isn't enough information to work with. Now we could come on here and begin subdividing this. However, that's really going to add a ton of geometry to our scene and make things denser and just move slower. So if you're on a lower end computer, what I actually recommend doing is adding a subdivision surface modifier over here. If you don't want it to round out your edges, just come up here and turn it to simple. I'm also going to turn off optimal display so we can see how much geometry it's adding. Now, in order for the cloth sim to utilize this data, you actually need to put it up above the cloth sim. Now we're gonna add a couple levels here. I'm just gonna add three or four levels there. And this will work faster than if you had just have dense geometry. And also it can be turned on and off so you can move around your scene to move faster. Let's go ahead, hit play here. And we can see here that we already have a much better cloth sim, but we can go ahead and even improve this a bit more. So when we put the subdivision data up here, the cloth sim will use all of that data. And the more data we put up here, it's gonna be slower and slower. However, we can add a second subdivision surface, put that on top of everything, and this is not being calculated by the cloth modifier, meaning that it won't take as long to process. But you can see it smoothed out our geometry quite a bit. Now, one more trick you can do is that cloth is never completely flat, as we have here with just one plane. And by adding a solidify modifier, you can add some thickness to your material without any extra calculation. But there's a couple settings you need to be aware of. By default, when you add the modifier here, what it is going to do is be set to negative one. Well, the problem is that your simulation's going by the base geometry up here. So what you actually wanna do is set this to positive one so that you collide and this thickness doesn't clip through your object. The other thing is the even thickness. If I leave even thickness on, you'll see that it tries to maintain even thickness and it'll create all these jagged spikes. But if I turn it off, you can see that that's no longer an issue. Check out the full video for a complete guide to cloth sims.